In the end, you get this nice looking GSEA plot. All right, I'm gonna be running this on dseq2 output. I've done just a really simple differential expression analysis. The only filtering I did was on the base expression level. So we're gonna be using a package called Cluster Profiler, but you'll also need to install the database depending on where your samples are. And we also need to install annotation DPI. If we look at res, this isn't ordered. What we need to do is order this. And for GSEA, people use a couple different metrics to order. A lot of people will just use log to fold change. But today in this example, I'm gonna use stat. And since we want it to be descending, we have to put a negative symbol here. All right, so now that we have this ordered, we're just gonna extract the stat column. And then we're gonna add the row names from this data frame to the names of this gene list. All right, so now we have this name list, so we can go ahead and run GSEA. And we're gonna pass gene list. And biological processes is default, but I'll just show it here. You can change it if you want. And our keys are ensemble keys. So we have to specify that here. And then our organism database. And then I'm going to max out the EPS variable. It'll make your p-values more precise. So this should only take 30 seconds or so. So when that's done, you can look at the data frame version. So we have our gene ontology terms and then statistics to go with them. So if you check out the cluster profiler site, you can see various other things you can do with the results, but I'm just gonna show the classic GSEA plot. And we're just gonna pass one for the gene set ID, which will just be the first one that you see in this data frame. So you see we have a very significantly enriched term in the upregulated genes. I'm not going to go into depth, but basically along the x-axis is the 11,000 ranked genes. And then each vertical black line is where one of those genes were found in this gene set. And then the running enrichment shown in green increases when there's a lot of genes close together. And then you can see it falls off as the genes become more sparse in the list. And then the enrichment score will be the maximum of that. And then just for example's sake, let me show you the same term, but I'm going to flip the comparison and the differential expression so that it shows up as negative. So here's what you would expect to see if the downregulated genes were enriched for this gene term. Now you can save this to file if you wanted to, which would look something like this. And then in the end, you get this nice looking GSEA plot.